Andrea Green secured the first place prize at the Cycle Road Race, hosted by a Flying Ace Cycle Club last Friday. Jalissa Hines reports. Last Friday, the Flying Ace Cycle Club of Burbies hosted a 16-mile cycle road race in New Amsterdam. Andrew Green secured first place in 40 minutes, followed by Mario Washington and Romelu Crawford, respectively. Coach Randolph Roberts of the Flying A Cycle Club disclosed these details about the race. There were 14 cyclists started the race and everybody completed. There were no spills. Thank God for that. Mario Washington was the first vet, the first junior to cross the finishing line. In the veteran category, Junior Niles came away from Maikoni and he got first in the veteran category, followed by Stephen Fernandes and Travis Supriani third. The sprint prizes, there were six sprint prizes. Andre Padla Green, who won the race, took four of the sprint prizes. Aramela Crawford took two. He then congratulated junior cyclist Mario Washington for his excellent performance. Mario Washington is one of our top junior. He won the race in Boris and Jenny met down Sunday and won the Chet Jagon race, which was run from Harbor Bridge to Puerto and back to Harbor Bridge. We'd like to congratulate this youngster. He's doing very outstanding in Georgetown and in the country as a junior. He's one of the top junior cyclists and he had a back-to-back -back win. Coach Roberts went on to explain why the route of the race was changed. Republic Road and Charles Place into Coburg Street, into Main Street, into Philadelphia Street, back into Republic Road. They did 10 laps and that was only 16 miles. We cut short the distance because of the road is bad at the Comaton. The ending of the road for them to cyclists to turn is got they have a lot of holes there and I don't want to hurt the cyclists because cycle parts is very expensive and obviously a pair, a pair of racing tire, good quality tires, twenty-five thousand, thirty-five thousand, forty-five thousand dollars. So I'm not going to run a race which would destroy my cyclists equipment under no circumstances. He then extended gratitude to everyone who made the event successful. We have a lot of races coming up for the rest of the year and we are looking forward for the support of the business community. I'd like to thank the Ghana Police Force and the COVID Task Force for granting us the permission to run this event. I'd like to thank every other person that makes this race a success and they will continue supporting the Flyneas Cycle Club which is the only club in Barbies. Thank you very much everybody. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.